These are gala apple trees showing symptoms of winter damage, winter kill. Uh, we've seen this a lot this year and, and basically the, the main symptom you see is a, a collapse of the tree. Uh, basically what happens is during this winter the trees experience uh, some damage, some killing uh, in the main trunk tissue and then as spring comes the tree leaves out normally but over time uh, the killed tissue that's uh, not conducting water to the leaves so uh, the tree is not able to keep up with its water demands and then you see this collapse. Ultimately uh, trees as severely affected as these are going to die. Uh, in other cases we'll have trees that are, are uh, less affected but they're going to be in, in a state of decline and that decline may uh, continue for the next several years. Uh, so what happened? How did we uh, come by this amount of, of winter injury this year? Well, we, we had a severe winter this past winter. Normally apples are fairly resilient to cold damage, but we experienced temperatures minus 20, lows of minus 20, and a little bit lower uh, in the low minus 15s. And so, uh, you know, these temperatures were, were low enough to cause damage to apples. Uh, in a lot of cases we see the apples were protected up to the, the snow line. We've seen damage occur above uh, the snow line in some cases. In other cases like these trees we, we've seen damage throughout and, and low enough that it, that it kills the entire tree. The winter damage that, that we've been observing uh, has been uh, somewhat cultivar specific. We've seen uh, more damage to Fuji for example, John and Gold, another one, Mutsu. Uh, in some cases we've seen mature, blocks of mature mutsu trees, uh, empire I've seen where many of the trees in the block have been killed. Uh, in other cases we'll see situations like we see here where we see a, a row of trees or a few trees affected. Not all the trees uh, in a block are affected even though the temperatures were similar throughout the block. And so why is that or, or, or what really leads to uh, the kind of winter injury that we're seeing? Well, uh, these trees in this particular block and, and throughout Michigan, uh, the year before this damage, they had a, a very large crop. So uh, some of the issues that we see um, may, may, may be associated with, with that large crop, problems with trees not hardening off properly, not, not entering dormancy properly, and then when they're exposed to these massively cold temperatures, then uh, damage follows. Uh, there, there was some drought stress issues also the year prior to the winter damage. Any kind of conditions where trees are under stress will mean if they face a, a subsequent stress, they can be much more prevalent to suffering damage. Uh, one of the things that, that we can do uh, to deal with this is we can more encourage the trees to, to harden off earlier. Uh, one of the ways to do this is to not fertilize them so late in the season. We, we don't want to encourage growth uh, late into the season. We want to encourage a tree to go into a dormant state. We, and so uh, late fertilizer applications, uh, you know, closer to harvest time are not uh, what we want to see. More aggressive thinning, keep the crop loads uh, lower. That's going to keep the trees in better shape uh, going into, into the winter. There are other cases where we see maybe a limb dead or, or the tree just um, showing symptoms of decline but but uh, not any death but they, they still suffered winter damage okay, this is a good example of a John and Gold tree that's coming down partially from winter injury uh, we can see this branch here has, has died back the rest of the tree doing okay right now if we take a look uh, down on the tree again where the injury occurred if we peel back the bark again we can see that it's only partially girdled there's healthy tissue uh, but then there's there's dead tissue from the winter injury as well Right now, there's enough still living tissue in this stem to keep this tree alive. Uh, but this tree, since it's a young tree and it's already sustained this injury, it's, it's not going to be in, in really good shape moving forward. But this can give you an example of how uh, older trees uh, can, can come out of this winter injury not looking as bad because they can sustain a bit more damage. You can see uh, branch diebacks, etc., uh, on older trees, but in a situation like this, uh, again, just we, we've got partial kill uh, on the on the main stem of this tree from from winter damage. In some situations, we don't really see much of any kind of symptom except the tree is in in 
some kind of decline. These trees suffered a milder uh, level of winter damage, but still the damage is there. And what's important to realize is that if we don't take care of these trees well, then that damage ultimately could kill the tree in the next year or two. Uh, but we can bring them out of that decline uh, in, the, in the subsequent years by kind of babying them a little bit, giving them early fertilizer, uh, keeping them well irrigated, keeping the crop loads lighter. Uh, these are, are the methods that, that you would have to do to, to re-strengthen these trees so that they'll be better, uh, uh, better off going into winter. Mm -hmm.